Hello YouTube, welcome to my new recording studio slash bedroom. It sounds fantastic in here. Um, I moved in here two months ago, good friend of mine and another guy. Um, it's a small raised ranch in the middle of the woods. I'm up here in the attic and it sounds fantastic in here. Mixing too, the drums sound amazing and this video is a way of showing that. Um, uh, my roommate got me a 12 inch and a 16 inch, um, UV, Evans UV heads for my, uh, sonar kit over there. He also had a, um, a, uh, suspension rim that he didn't really want on a couple of, uh, it was on a 12 inch Slingerland Tom that someone had given to him. Actually, uh, the drummer in his band had given him and, um, uh, this video is a document of me making those changes to this kit. And uh, I've wanted to put um, the Evans UVs on my kit for a long time. But when I had the green sonar kit, sorry, the green PDP kit, um, I literally just replaced all the heads on that kit. And two weeks later, I saw the UVs and I was just like, ah, I wish I had waited just those extra couple of weeks and those would have been on my kit all the way back then but what are you gonna do so I bought the sonar kit about a year ago and um, I have had the stock heads on that since then uh, a couple weeks ago when I started filming this video because it's been that long <laughs> so um, yeah this is just meant to be uh, it's not meant to be a scientific comparison it's not really a fair comparison anyway those were uh, those were cheap um, Chinese uh, Remo heads on there. So this is just a, a documentation of it to show off how good it sounds in here. That's all it is. All right. Well, let's get to it then.
conclusions. Um, these heads are really the heads I've been waiting for for a very long time. Um, I remember experimenting with the, the, the J1 Etch series when they came out, but they were a little too bright for me, and then I got the edge control, the ECs, the, the, um, the coded ECs, and they were just a little too dead for me. So I always ended up back with the, um, the, G, the clear G1s on the Tom Toms and a coded G1 on the snare. But these, these have the, the clarity and uh, response of the clear heads with just a little bit of the, the higher overtones just smoothed out, a little bit darker. And that's exactly what I've been looking for for a very long time. And these heads turned out to be exactly what I thought they were going to be. So I'm very, very, very happy about that. And I'm finally very, very glad for my uh, roommate, Mike Brandon, who uh, um, bought those for me for my birthday. Because it probably would have been a little bit longer before I even uh, changed those heads because I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> um, oh, yes. And on the, an update on the... Um, the um, the suspension rim it ended up being uh that one screw in place there it's kind of wobbling around a little bit so at some point i'll have to figure out how to get you know put a put a piece of metal in there so it could stay firmly in place but i don't take this kit out anywhere anyway so that really won't be too much of a problem so and that's it thanks for watching <laughs>